I am concerned that in our world we have far too narrow, limited an understanding of worship. To us, worship tends to be thought of, of as that which we do in church on Sunday morning. This is the worship service. Well, actually, that's not quite the way the scriptures look at worship. In, in fact, the biblical words for worship are quite different from our English words for worship. And so, in the book, I start by talking about what biblical words, what words does the, do the scriptures use to describe worship, and I discover that true worship has at least three dimensions. There is the wor worship as disposition. What is an attitude of worship, uh, an appropriate biblical attitude of worship? And there the notion of fear and reverence and awe toward God is important. Secondly, worship involves all of life. It is not just segmented into that one hour of the Sunday morning for us where we get together and we do the worship things. Worship is all of life. When I read Paul, I read, I beseech you, I urge you, I beg you to present your bodies a living sacrifice, for this is, in fact, your reasonable service. That is Pauline approach to, the Pauline approach to worship. That's also the overall biblical approach to worship. Worship is life. The psalmist says, who may stand in the presence of the Lord? And the answer is not whoever does exactly the right things in the presence of the Lord. The answer is he who has clean hands, that speaks of life, a pure heart, that's insight, who hasn't lifted up his eyes to idols uh, and who has, does not speak falsely. Those are the people whose worship is acceptable to God. We think that the approach to worship, uh, the important issue in worship is what we do when we gather. When in actual fact, it's what we've done the six days before we gather that determines whether or not what we do there matters positively to God. So that's a, that, that, that's a foundation. And I spend the first three or uh, four chapters on life as worship before we finally get into the church, into the building, and then we begin talking about what we do in the worship service.